I think people have, have must accept, I, you know, some part of myself, I hope the law passes, just as I hope that in America they impose compulsory prayer in schools and ban the teaching of uh, Darwin because then they'd find out what it was like. And also you have, as we've had here, the mass production of atheism. You can only get it with compulsory and established religion. So let's let them have what they want, and then I'll tell you what I'll do if this law passes. I will, I will go to a lawyer, and we will go to the Attorney General, and we will say, um, it is our understanding that last week, the Iraqi insurgency fired on the Ashura parade, the holiest day of Shia Islam, shot in the back the chief aide of the Grand Ayatollah Sistani, the spiritual leader of most of Iraqi, uh, put a bomb in a mosque, and anyone who has said in public they consider this to be an insurgency, has incited religious hatred. Let's see how Galloway's fuckers like that. <laughs> then I'll say, you know what, I don't make a big thing of it, but I could be offended too. A friend of mine was put under a death sentence, which attempts were made to carry out, for writing a novel, unpicking uh, some of the contradictions in the Quran, saying that religious texts can be used for, religious, for literary purposes. Mm. Incitement to his murder was made. I don't mind the incitement, that's free speech. Efforts were made to kill him. Anyone involved in forwarding those efforts had better be willing to face an English court and an English jury, and I can't wait to see it. Do you think I don't care that the Bamiyan Buddhas were blown up? I'm not a Buddhist. Do you think I don't care that the Afghan National Museum was gone through with hammers, tray by tray, to every single thing back to the Greeks in, in Afghanistan, the most religiously poorest country in the world, who had been destroyed, erased, powdered? Of course I care. That's profane. Mm. That's obscenity. That's blasphemy. Mm. Let them face it. And let us, for heaven's sake, develop some self-respect and say, we have unalterable principles too. And on these we won't compromise. And the law in a free society should be yep. on our side for once. Yep. And that's what the police should be doing. Not wondering if... I wonder why he elbowed that person. Was it for his religion? Mm. But Did come on. Grow up. It's on. It's on. I, I, I just don't understand how people sit still for this. But how uh, is this to be articulated, Christopher? Because of your reading... Not by me, you think. No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but how Clearly you feel I'm a very poor advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent advocate. Thank you. Nonetheless, I just the needed law to hear you. Mean, how is it to be articulated in how the is, how, in statute? <laughs> how By the First Amendment. Is all well, all religious belief is We don't have the First Amendment. Exactly. All, religion is, all religious expression is protected, and all expression about religion is protected. So we should have a national yes. constitution, a written constitution. Or, we'll be living without a different country. Well. No. Uh, yes, apart, I mean, I agree. If an exception is to be made, it's not to be for Muslim fundamentalists who advocate the murder of fellow Muslims.